guys welcome back to my channel I'm so excited you're here and if you're new welcome I am so glad you found me today we are talking about well let's put it this way I never do resolutions I normally do goals going into the new year but 2020 has been such a year that we've all had to maybe face demons that we just kind of pushed off before. We were too busy to face. We've had to face realizations about ourselves, about our spouses, our life partners. We've maybe lost loved ones one way or another. And so with 2021, I want to do it a little different. So I'm going to bring some things forward with me that I want to take into 2021. But there's some things I'm going to say, nope, I'm done. You're staying in 2020. And I thought today I would do this with you. So I'm going to start with the positive and the things that I want to bring forward with me into 2021. And the first thing is love. I want to take love. Love for my family, love for myself. And just love for others. I think it's very important that we all take that into 2021. But everybody's different and everybody has to choose their own, their own, I don't know. I don't want to say baggage because what I'm bringing into 2021 is not baggage. It's light. It's, 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 it's love. What I'm leaving in 2020 is all the old baggage that I'm just done with. So anyway, so I'm going to take love. I'm also going to take understanding, compassion, caring, and thinking before I speak, act. Thinking before I act or speak because I want to be a friend. I want there to be... I don't want there to be consequences, and if there are consequences, I want them to only be good. I want to be the best version of me, whatever that version is, going into 2021. I want to be proactive, not reactive. I want to live a healthy lifestyle that is right for me, and everybody will be different. I want to attain a natural healthy weight. And what is a natural healthy weight? Well, we all have that weight, okay? That weight that is like that pie in the sky number that you will never ever attain. Or if you do attain it, you've done it by just really restricting yourself what you eat. Or you've gone to the gym seven days a week. And that weight is not sustainable, okay? So I want to retain I want to get to a weight that is my weight, that I can, you know, maintain no matter what I do, except if you, you know, eat a lot. But I want to have my healthy, normal weight. And that natural weight is where you're going to go after you attain that pie in the sky weight and then you go back to real life, okay? It happens to everybody. I'm going to, you know, and then people that attain that pie in the sky weight and then they get to their real, their really, their natural weight because they can't maintain the, the non-reality they were doing to get that pie in the sky weight, they have a hard time. They, they suffer, you know, mental anguish. They get called names. They, you know, it's a terrible thing. In fact, I was watching a video of Remy Austin and she had done exactly that. She had attained this pie-in-the-sky weight goal that she wanted to attain. But then when she went back to real life, it was not sustainable. And I'll link a video below where she talks about that. And that's what I'm saying. I want to maintain a natural weight. And I want to help all of you maintain a natural weight. I want to have a healthy nutrition plan. But that one that is not a diet. I don't believe in that word. And cheat days? No. I, I won't, in restrictive, no. I, I, it's eating what you want to eat, but in healthier portions. And maybe slowly, if you want to, taking out some of the stuff that's not so healthy and replacing it with items that are more healthy. But that's your choice. I want to drink more water. Now that one's on every year 
and it's on this year too. And I've actually set up a Facebook group. It's um, my drinking water tracker water. I, I had to change the name because I realized there was a actual product named Water Buddies, and I didn't want to copyright that. So. I'll link the group below and it's where we can come together and give each other support maybe talk about how we flavor water and different tips and tricks so I've created this Facebook group to help me stay on track for water drinking and if you want to join like I said it'll be linked below um, and then there's self-love and self-care and self-love and self-care is obviously taking care of the outside of you you're taking care of the inside by eating you know better you're taking care of the outside, you know, skin care, uh, haircuts, coloring your hair, clothes, you know, doing your nails, just doing all of these things. And it also self-love and self-care means taking care of your mind, having releases, you know, like I just did a video about exercises to help release anxiety and it's linked above. But you can also help release stress you have to you know let your mind bloom and grow so I want to do that and I want to you know make my surroundings happy and if my surroundings are happy they make me happy which is self-care and self-love so these are all my goals for going into and not goals these are all my takes these are all the things that I have learned in 2020 all the things that I'm pulling that I want to keep with me because I found that these are important. So what are some of the things that you have found in 2020 that you actually want to bring forward and nurture and make even better in 2021? List below in the comments. So next, I'm going to talk about the things that I'm not going to bring with me. But first, I'm going to talk about something that I don't want to bring with me, but unfortunately, I have to. And that's my CRPS. If you don't know, I have a severe chronic pain illness. I am only able to function because of medications. But you know what? It's okay. I have CRPS. I can't leave it in 2020 as much as I want to. I've had it since 2013. I'm stuck with it for the rest of my life. And I'm learning to make the best of it. So it's going with me whether I want to or not. Now, also, I want to get rid of darkness. I, I don't want darkness. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to, you know, all those feelings. Darkness, you can go with 2020. Hate. Hate. There is no room in my life for hate. I am a bright, sunshiny person, and there's no room for hate. So, hate, you can go with 2020 as well. Negativity. Okay? There is enough t negativity everywhere else without me taking any into 2021 with me. So I refuse. Negativity, you're out of here, buddy. And the last one is inactivity. You know, inactivity is terrible. That's when your mind sits and, and sometimes it manifests stuff that's not even real. Inactivity allows things to become issues that really aren't, that they could even be positives. But because of inactivity on the person's part, they become terrible things. So inactivity, you're out of here too. And you might say, well, that's, you know, that's good. But And then there is also something else. There are the things that are just attached to us that come with us, whether we want them to stay or go. They're just always with us and we can't do anything about it. And mine is anxiety. I mean, I think in 2020, everybody realized anxiety is a part of their life. But with those exercises I showed you yesterday, which is linked above, or was linked earlier, sorry, and other, you know, eating right and fitness and being, you know, active, I think we can beat this one. Another one that comes with us is depression. It goes with anxiety. But I think we can beat it. Another one for me is self-doubt. I mean, it's just hard having a chronic illness and trying to do be a fitness coach and a health coach. But I, I love it. It's my passion, and I'm here to do it. I hope you'll come with me. And the last one's 
core body image and these all kind of follow me from year to year and I have had poor body image since I was in middle school and I can tell you the exact time it started but here's the deal I'm not remember I threw negativity out I'm not dwelling on it I'm going to try my best to you know pick it up and be happy with where I am be happy with my natural weight remember that pie in the sky number that's where body positivity really comes in you need to realize that number is not real okay yes you may get there but you won't maintain it your natural weight is where you're going to be happy it's where you are going to feel good about yourself and it is going to be a positive experience okay and self-image is also how clothes fit you i mean i am short how clothes look on me and it's all just about realizing love who you are okay and that's one of my goals for 2021 and that's what I'm here to work with on my channel too with all of you so anyway I hope you love this video it's you know it's personal I think this year more than anything going from 20 to 21 and what we're all taking with us if you're setting goals the goals you're setting for 2021 believe it or not we're shaped by 2020 so I hope that you are able to bring positives from your life from 2020 into 2021 and I hope that if there's been bad or negative things with 2020 for your life that you can leave them in 2020 or at least work on them in 2021 to be better for you and for those that love you so take care have a safe day and I will see you very soon Bye guys.